Hey there friends, how's it going? I have been paid to fix campuses in very specific ways, along with Rumble Tumble Games, The Spitting Brit, and the Anda underscore Cheese. We've been rotating the maps using each other's campuses and we have to address certain challenges. So let's see what we have to do first. So how's this for a challenge? Happiness first, grade second. I'm in. You know what that means? I don't have to study. I can just play video games, mom. And we can worry about the failure rate later. But then again, if you're happy, have you ever truly failed? Yes, a lot. So this has been worked on by the Spitting Brit and Rumble Tumble Games. All this is the preview of the, <laughs> the school. There's a hedge maze, which is nice. That means you're going to a fancy school. But for some reason, I think it's is bone zoned over it, which doesn't sound very fancy. Unless it's just like my previous school and it has archaeology. <laughs> Maybe this is just a bone zone. No, it just says get bone zoned. Okay. And I don't know what the hell this thing is. <laughs> this is like trying to decipher some caveman ruins. I have no idea what this could mean. Uh, this guy got pretty bone zoned. <laughs> He's completely stuck in here. I'm just remembering that I have to make all of these people happy. Speaking of people, all right, we got one student. <laughs> He's just dabbing and we have a lot of staff. Why are there so many two player game tables? We don't even have two students. Ah, oh, yes, I love to just sit down and watch music. <laughs> the hot dog kiosk needs a staff member. I, I think they're gonna be too tired by the time they actually get there. Oh no, our only student is leaving. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got a big problem here in that people are getting halfway and then giving up because it's taking too long. Okay, how do I make them happy? How do I make them happy? There we go. So it says get bone zoned and then an arrow in here. This is the bone zone now. Okay, I built it into a dorm. <laughs> it looks like a prison right now. So I don't think that's gonna make them pretty happy. Bathroom not allowed in the dormitory. Oh, but it's allowed in the hedge maze. That's fine. Someone actually made it there, by the way. <laughs> Got some love benches here as well. That's pretty nice. Instead of alarm clocks, I have live owls to wake all of the students. And when I say all of the students, I mean student, by the way. <laughs> I still only have one student. Correction, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> well, technically no one's unhappy, so next challenge. Let's face it, no one likes- No, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> I should at least try. So I'm gonna start teaching funny business so there are clowns everywhere, because that'll make everyone happy and it won't be annoying at all. I put a big smile on the dance floor to make everyone happy and not creeped out at all. If grades don't matter, I guess the chairs may as well be pointing the other way. I don't want them thinking that they matter, you know, and accidentally get good grades. Because there's two ways of looking at this. It's like, oh, I need to make them really happy to focus more on the happiness than grades. Or you could just not focus on grades at all. And then it doesn't seem like a big task to be more happy than smart. Oh, th this one's wacky. <laughs> You're getting hired. I like how the resume said run of the mill. <laughs> There's nothing run of the mill about that. Okay, I'm ready to start the year. Uh, I don't know how, but someone escaped the walls. <laughs> I don't know where our prisoner went. Oh, I was just on duty for like 15 minutes and I lost them already. Okay, they're really enjoying the bone zone, which is fantastic. Fantastic. And one just arrived at campus and hid under the covers. My kind of person. Why is this one so happy? What is wrong with you? Or what did I do to make you happy? Or did you just show up happy? Monthly profit minus 30,000 as I'm just throwing down these plants. There we go. The bone zone's complete, I think. Or actually windows. That's important to happiness. They need to be able to like see. Okay, I have made the bone zone the happiest place on earth. <laughs> but I feel like I should focus elsewhere as well. Like we still got a lot of problems to deal with. Okay, why is this person unhappy? What is going wrong? Oh, their happiness is going up. Oh, because they finally reached the inside of the hedge maze, I see. I feel like everything I've introduced to make people happy is just obnoxious. Oh, this feels so weird, like fixing things. I <laughs> just assign staff to everything so all the rooms can function. Uh-oh, <laughs> what are all these? <laughs> Risk of failing the year. Oh no, but are you happy? <laughs> Did you at least like exhale through your nose during that class? Huh, red number good, right? <laughs> as much as I hate to see people out of the job, I might have to fire some of our staff. Oh my god, <laughs> we're paying out 3.3 million a year on staff. Meanwhile, nothing on training. We just hire them all and let them loose in the hedge maze. It's sort of a Hunger Games rather than an employment. Okay, I don't know how important all of them are, so I'm just going to pick someone and fire them. Just to show the board I'm doing something. Removing weeds. The war on drugs is pointless on a campus. You are fired. I'm introducing the sleeping club to try and get people sleeping if I can. What the? 
What was that? Did we miss our power bill? I wouldn't be surprised. The amount we're spending on it. Oh, DJ Sous Chef is gonna be performing. What a great name. Campus intruders, please not come in. Oh no, they're, they're trying to upset my students. Where are they? Okay, I've checked three people and honestly, I feel like I've done my due diligence at this point. Could I honestly be expected to do more? Okay, I know you're mid-class, but I am going to sell this room now. I need money. <laughs> I also want to make them like a cool chill out room, a student lounge with lots of yummy snacks and such. It's going to have everything. I think I'm hitting the wrong demographic. I'm putting in like a chest full of toys, some arcade machines. This is actually a sick room for a student lounge. If that doesn't say screw education, I don't know what does. I sold a literal classroom to build this. And look at them. They're all in there. Ah, so the knights are the janitors. Are they the night shift? Because <laughs> he just ran out mid-repair. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I need more staff. I need janitors because everything's just breaking. As much as I hate to do it, I might have to introduce a new bathroom. This one's making people pretty unhappy. There we go. I made a shower room and it's just fully transparent because if we can get over the shame of our own bodies, we'll be much happier. Would this make people happy? I feel like this would make people happy. This would make me happy. Like, if my university had this, I think he should be the guardian of the bone zone. What? Oh, no, everyone failed. <laughs> but you're happy, right? Yeah! <laughs> they got an F. They're failing. They're so stupid. They're even facing the wrong way in their picture. But hey, they're happy. Ignorance is bliss. Did I win any awards? Actually, let me rephrase that. How many awards did I win? Yeah! The average room prestige. <laughs> I don't know why I made the lecture hall so big and now I'm just copying them out of pure laziness to just place another when I've been so careful with the other buildings. All right, we hired Eric Rubbish. I hope you're not rubbish. And we hired Clint Crumble. I hope you don't crumble under pressure because you got a lot of weight on your shoulders. Oh, people are queuing for the fridge. <laughs> we need more fridges. Oh, I just sold the fridge. Okay, it's hey, this is not helping. They're, they're getting all overwhelmed. All right, there we go. Now, is there enough fridges? Look how happy everyone is. Like, they may be getting Fs, but they're getting A's in happiness. Ah, call me Kevin. Putting the A in happy ever since I learned the correct spelling at age 24. I'll be your host. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh god, I sold the door. Um, uh, how do I fix this? <laughs> I, I, that's not how you spell it. There we go, fixed, phew. I got rid of the hot dog stand because it was making them pretty unhappy that they couldn't reach it. I'll leave the bathroom there though. All right, I gotta teach someone something. So Clint Crumble, you're about to learn dark arts, <laughs> which will be very helpful when you teach the people jokes and other funny business. Maybe it's actually like not funny business, but it's funny business. Like maybe getting away with tax fraud or something. No, I'm pretty sure it's just about being funny. <laughs> Damn it. I should have went there. I didn't know it was an option. Okay, well, there's 71% happiness, 64% grades. Excellent. We're on the right track. What is going on here now? There's so many people hanging out in this room. It's too cool. All right, I clearly need to expand on this idea by turning this into a massive student lounge. In fact, copy that one and give it a massive extension and we'll go from there. Look at this. I'm creating like artificial spaces with particular walls. I made it much bigger and then realized I don't really have anything else to add. I haven't really unlocked any points, so I'm just kind of filling space now. I'm making it work, though. I'm making it work. Working with what I have. Oh my god, everything is broken. Is this the intruders again? Damage the campus. It is the bloody blackguard invasion. Oh, wait, they're knights? Okay, that makes them a lot easier to find. Can I, uh, can I kill them? How do I execute them? You want to live in medieval times? I'll show you medieval times. Oh. Well, I did lock you in my dungeon. He's stuck in there forever now. He's just got the question mark up. Well, this is actually helping my cause because they're going so far down in grades that my happiness is well above them. I was wondering why people were unhappy, but it's all just steadily going up now that they've arrived at school. It was just because they weren't here yet. Like, look at this. Energy is a little bit of a problem. I think I might need more power napping. A few bins might be good since this campus doesn't have one. Since I, I built <laughs> yeah, there's litter everywhere. Okay, we're gonna sort this. We don't want this being an issue. We're gonna have to have a few parties here to get people happy. This puts up happiness 50%. Is this the same band we're booking over and over again? I think it is. We've booked them out for the entire year. Every year. What is happening to this fella? <laughs> oh, he's just a bit silly, I think. All right, the hedge maze has to go. Well, not the hedge maze itself, just the reward. Now you get there and you just get greeted with nothing. Here, let me make it a bit more interesting. You can read what's on the 
the menu back in the student lounge. Either that or scan the QR code, whichever you prefer. 80% happiness, it continues to climb. Who knew non-stop parroting would be fun? I'm starting to think the key to happiness is not pissing yourself. I should try it sometime. 85, 86% happiness. God, I'm good at making people happy. I've never tried it before. <laughs> Look at how happy some of them are, 100%. Whoa, what's wrong with you? Oh, he's going home, that's why. He's upset because he has to go back to that horrid place. I love this challenge in that, like, you don't really know what happened, like, with that wall up there. And now I'm doing the same thing, just throwing things down for my own reasons, and they won't know why. I'm just trying to make the place look better, okay? Not to the eye, because it looks pretty awful. I just mean to them. They only care about statistics. Look at this. They say you can't please everyone, but I feel like I can. And their grades aren't bad either. Like, I didn't know it went up as high as C+. That's crazy. Ah, uh, that's why all my stuff wasn't being repaired. I forgot about all the plants. We have a whole army of janitors taking care of them. But hey, everyone's happy. I'm happy. I'd give myself a C plus in this challenge. Just wanted you to see Anna's reaction to me actually doing something right for a change. Things are in order. Nothing is on fire. No one is vomiting on no one. I'm impressed. Are you guys sure that I got this built from Kevin? Let's face it, no one likes budgeting. I was going to do a bit here where I would show you an example of me and not being good at budgeting, but they kind of did it for me in the same style that I look like when I'm doing my paperwork. Why, why, why? I want you to spend, spend, spend. Avoid financial ruin by sheer willpower alone. Uh, no, I don't like that. That's a half measure. When I'm doing a challenge, I go all in. I'm gonna blow all of the money. <laughs> you can definitely see something changed. The happiness of my previous ones and the happiness of my new one. Oh my god, this place is over two million dollars. What the hell? They're actually passing their exams? Jesus. Who loves hedge maces? Who is doing all of this? I thought this said rich, but it actually says R rich. Does that stand for like really rich? Or no, actually, I think it's just vandalism. <laughs> I think this is the illness room. If you want to get sick from being blasted with cold and then warm, you come in here. It doesn't seem to have any other purpose. It's very fitting that they only study money wangling. Oh, I love wangling a bit of money. Okay, first of all, we're lowering the tuition fees to zero. I'm gonna take as many students as I can in all classes as well. Okay, if I want to burn through money, I guess I want a lot of staff. That'll help big time, right? There is no quality assurance here. I just hired every teacher that submitted an application. No background checks, nothing. Let's say it's the 80s. <laughs> Okay, I've invested a ton of money into staff. Know what we also need? Constant expensive parties. What's the most expensive thing I can do? Okay, it seems to be the same one as I booked last time. I'm a one-trick pony. <laughs> I'm applying the same solution. Just get a really expensive pop star for the entire year. Syllabus request. Oh, I thought we lost power there for a second. Oh my god, monthly profit minus 70,000. Okay, I'm off to a good start. I like how my goal at the moment is to get a monthly profit of 60,000, which already sounds hard. But in reality, I've got to make a profit of 130,000 with what I have at the moment. I guess, like, this is technically getting me more money, but I have to pay interest, so it'll actually lose me money over time. <laughs> Average profit loss down 5,921% from last year. The staff is like, hmm, I wonder if the new guy's the problem. Oh, we should do marketing and research. I've never tried those before. <laughs> I changed the sign to say Richie, just because I want people to be like, it was Richie. <laughs> And no one really knows. The hell is that thing? All right, the janitor's gonna take care of it. Never mind. He's probably gonna die from radiation or something. He's just sweeping it up. <laughs> yeah, sweeping under the rug. There's a few more to go. Right, I need a marketing office that doesn't interrupt uh, the delicate balance of everything we got going on here. Maybe here? Money wangling campaign, I think. Even though it's more of a money laundering technique, I think. Maybe I should make a building that's just marketing this place. <laughs> so I could construct an entirely new complex here. This is the marketing department for the school that doesn't make any money. Oh, the foundations are wobbling a bit as they build it. That's okay. We built it on an ancient uh, burial ground. It was a good deal at the time, you know, and it's allowing us to spend all this money on marketing instead. Why are you clapping? <laughs> I'm ruining the school and everyone's like, yeah. Okay, it looks kind of like a prison now, but that's okay. I can dress it up a bit. There. What? I said a bit? Why aren't you clapping? I will just add it in in post. <coughs> Being a student is hard enough. Hey! 
<laughs> the least we could do is give you loads of money. Wait, is that for my campus? The advert? We somehow actually need more assistance just because of the sheer amount I have built. I like how they sign up to be teaching assistants and I'm like, you're in marketing now. I just totally lie to them in the interview process. I need a dig site and you know what? It's a good excuse to money launder again. Let's just try and make it huge. There we go. I just turned half the campus into a dig site. Whoa, what is this running on the spot? I think this place is actually cursed. Like there's a plague of frogs. There was a meteor shower by the looks of it. There's a lot going on here. I mean, I did say that we built it on a burial ground and now we are attempting to dig up a said burial ground. So that could explain it. Marketing project complete. Ah, it's complete. Well, good thing I have them on repeat. So they're just going to keep going and going and going. I'm actually hiring every single person that applies here just because I really actually need them to fulfill the marketing duties I've set up. How is everyone doing, I wonder? Like, how happy are they? Wow, the students are delighted. I guess the fact they're getting everything literally for free helps a lot. And the staff aren't as happy, <laughs> understandably. <laughs> they got a lot going on and they've been lied to. I wonder, like, how are they actually doing in terms of their grades and such? Um, oh, not great. Not great at all, actually. I thought they'd be doing a bit better. Yeah, at the, this class, not so much. The, the music one is doing pretty damn bad. That's what I get for hiring teachers at random who don't even know how to play music. The only one that's actually kind of going okay is the money wrangling, the one we've been uh, promoting. I like how this person's like, yeah, big rock, let's get this, when there's like this ancient artifact right here. Okay, they found treasures, but obviously I don't want them, so I'll hide them in poop. No one will look in poop for treasure. There they go. <laughs> it gets hidden in there. This is definitely some dodgy money laundering. This one's worth 45,000, and I'm like, yep, yeah, put it in the poop. Did I win awards? I better have won awards. And the award for the most money laundering goes to... <laughs> Yes, it's the most popular one. That's not surprising since it's free. And I have the best clubs. I, I had nothing to do with that, but I deserve this award. Thank you, everyone. Oh, everyone failed. <laughs> well, it's like a 50-50 split. It depends what uh, course you took. We're forecast to lose 1.7 million. And I still owe like 200 and something thousand. Great. <laughs> We're set to fail, everyone. <laughs> I hope you have some backup policy if your education doesn't work out. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. Like, what is this? It's just so confusing to run into something random that seems to serve no purpose whatsoever. Oh, and we got the radiated vending machine room. Just a single vending machine there. Okay, I want to spend some money on some research. Um, look into bars. <laughs> this is important. I love the idea of the administration just going, hey, that new um, guy in charge of the campus, he, uh, he's blown through like $1.5 million in a year and he has not answered any of our attempts at contacting him. How do I not have a musical teacher after all this? The amount of teachers I've hired and I still don't have one. Like, no one can play, like, the tin whistle or something. I don't think this is the person I hired. In fact, I think this is just, like, a student. He's wearing the same clothes as this guy. <laughs> Y'all got ripped off. Sorry, everyone. Oh, God, an earthquake. Okay, maybe we can get some money on an insurance claim. I'm really angering God with all the stuff I'm doing here today. The mayor is visiting. You know we're having, like, earthquakes and, like, biblical attacks on our <laughs> university. Now you want to visit? I'm sure you'll find it amazing. Oh, she actually is. She's gone into the maze. All right, interesting. Well, I hope you like the maze and maybe you could make a donation from the town or something because my money is nearly gone. I can't even afford to repay the balance of the other ones. I can pay these off, so at least I'm out of the woods there, but I will take out another loan. There we go. I've made it temporarily okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not very long, though. I mean, what are they gonna do? Shut me down? I'm educating people. You can't just shut me down. Oh, they've given me a warning. Maybe they can. If we reach minus 300,000, the campus will be shut down. Oh no, <laughs> pretty much there. Quickly, we need to start selling off some of my uh, most valuable objects. These posters must be worth a lot. Yeah, $100. Awesome. Look at that, I'm clawing back every penny. We're actually getting money. I'm out of posters though. I think they've realized what's happening. I, I think they've realized that they're about to lose everything. Sure, you may not have lost money since it's free, but you've lost a lot of time. We've just completed a research project. Yep, now we understand drinking better, which is gonna help a lot of us, I think. Honestly, looking at the campus, it would be hard to pinpoint where it all went wrong. There were so many chances, like, despite the massive hedge maze that leads to nowhere, they were still making money. Despite the overwhelming amount of expensive decor, it was still doing fine. Despite the massive bank loans, it was doing fine. But the massive marketing department and the sheer amount of staff I've had to hire, it all just combined into a perfect cocktail of unwinnable.
old. <laughs> Bankruptcy notice. Our budget has reached minus 300,000. The campus is being shut down. Task failed successfully. Thank you so much for attending my campus. Uh, I'll mail you out your grade as long as you are subscribed and you have liked the video. Check out the game for yourself. It is released now and the link is in the description. The game is available on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One and Series X and S, Nintendo Switch and Game Pass. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.